Alright, so uh, the black diamonds aren't exactly the monsters we usually make them out to be. Um, and tonight we're gonna go uh, Cayman tagging. What we're doing is um, we're going out on the river, the mark and recapture program, the Cayman trapping. Mm -hmm. We are going to, if we catch a fresh animal, then we are going to process it. This is our new animal. But if we recapture, we are still going to work on it, but we are not going to tag it. We are just going to do the um, basic measurements. What measurements are we going to take? Um, the head measurements, the weight, the length of the caiman to see if the caiman have gained weight or lose weight, or if it have grown. Yeah. So by doing this, we can better appreciate uh, the caiman for what it is, as opposed to the bad, aggressive, violent animal that many people make it out to be. So hopefully tonight is a learning experience. All right, let's roll. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this river is um. Rupununi River, also connected to Riwa Isequebo. During high waters, this um, bank is covered, and this area is covered. Soaring above the slow moving waters of the Rupununi River, are over two-thirds of Guyana's 900 known bird species. Coming in all shapes and all sizes, they are frequent diners on the river's all-you-can-eat buffet of small fish and crustaceans. One of the many unique birds on these shores is the black skimmer. A common sight throughout Guyana, the black skimmer can be seen dragging its long lower beak through the water, snapping shut upon contact with small fish that inhabit the surface. But the black skimmer must be careful where he chooses to dip his beak, so that he himself doesn't end up on the menu. Our method of capture is, for the bigger ones, we use the, um, the snear, which is a, a wire, a wire that's, that snares and it's um, retractable. And we use this to catch the bigger ones. And it is lightly and taped with a insulation tape just to hold it in place. And it detaches as soon as the caiman, or caiman is on the snear. The moon also has a factor of not for us not catching caiman sometimes they see us at night when when our approach is near dark night tonight so we'll take advantage of that I can see the little Caimans use the dark of night to hunt unsuspecting prey, but millennia of evolution have made them wary of their surroundings. The black waters of the night are the perfect place in which to disappear from sight. Just go next to them, don't go straight, don't go straight. Turn, 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 turn. Shine, shine on them. So you have this newly hatched guy. This guy could be about two to three months old. Yeah. And this is a um, perfectly good animal with all 
its body parts if I'm, sh if I'm sure if you can see the tail here it's in all good shape as it as it grows like on the on the jaws here we call this the chin spots mm -hmm. when it's very young they're very prominent when they're when they're getting older it fades you can see the head here this part of the, the skull is wider in its very young stage and this is very um a little much more smaller but during its growth again the the middle would not grow as fast as the back the back would expand wider than the front at this stage of their life it's they're very vulnerable to being predated by other predators like giant otters um, the jaburo storks piranhas would, would get to them um, even other caimans would eat their young Kaiman doesn't have much power to open his jaws, but the main the force of it is on its bite, the, the power is in its bite. Let's just take this guy up a little bit. It doesn't have a chunk. The team first check over the caimans for signs of damage, which other caimans and piranhas may have inflicted. If the caiman is new to the team, a special identification chip will be inserted in the caiman's tail, five places below the base of the tail. The number in this chip is unique to the animal and will help in identifying it if it is captured again. Chidd Chidd point zero zero three B C nine three B C nine, not six. B C nine three. Following this initial check over, the tests begin and the Cayman is subjected to a series of measurements. Recording this information will help the team to monitor the growth of the river's caimans and better understand the river's ecology over time. The caiman is turned over in order for more measurements to be made. Finally, before the animal can be released back into the river, the weight of the caiman is recorded. Take the tape off and face it towards the water. Got the blue body. 